One of the great things about the Global Physics Summit is that we have so many different physics disciplines all in one place, and there's so much going on. And in fact, what is that guy doing up there? Let's go check it out. Sorry to disturb you, my name's Clara. Debashis, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I saw that you had your camera and I was curious what you're doing here right now. I'm observing how humans move and interact in social environments. Okay, and is this part of your research? Yes, it is. What's the main research topic that you look for? So I study human movement at low speeds where social interaction is strong. Okay, and what do you mean by low speed? So if you look at most of the human movements, such as crossing in pedestrian, uh, pedestrian crossing, people in a shopping mall, most of their velocities are around one meter per second. But if you look at environments where the social interaction is very strong, yeah. the average velocity is as low as 0.1 meter per second. Uh, we particularly choose preschool children, and okay. we study them in their uh, classroom and playground environments. So, and then we do analysis of their motion using the tools from statistical physics. Okay, and so you, you take your footage first, is that correct? There are many ways you can observe human movement. You can track their uh, motion. So we put like two trackers on children's vests. So we also know where they're facing at each instant. Then we take this data, spatial movement data, and use statistical physics tool to analyze. Oh, very interesting. And so what do you learn then from these interactions and from your studies? It's human movement, because of social interaction, they seem to form clusters. There are some people forming, some kids forming a group. They're free moving individual, moving around, some of them leaving this group, some of them joining this group. Now you can compare this group formation with liquid phase and the free moving children with gas particles. Okay. So there's the liquid and gas coexisting. Mm -hmm. We call it the liquid vapor coexistence phase, which was never observed in human movement before. Mm -hmm. We think it's exclusive to low speed human movement. Okay, so that's, that's really interesting. So what are we looking at right now? What can you tell me about the movement we're observing here? Excellent question. So if you look, uh, most individual here, their goal is to go from point A to point B. And while they're doing that, they're trying not to bump into each other, they're trying to minimize collision. Whereas in low speed environment, the opposite thing happens. For example, we are talking right now yeah. and we are face, face to face, which will never happen when people are crossing streets. So when I arrived here, it was like the low speed movement? This is right now low speed. We are moving very minimum and our alignments are opposite face to face which is contrasting to the high-speed studies where people are synchronized, they're parallel to each other, so they can minimize collision and move efficiently from point A to B. What are the applications that you're looking for with what you're learning? In general, this research has application to behavioral studies, but uh, this research, the understanding of social uh, dynamics can also be integrated to the models of epidemiologists. And we can also understand, uh, use our understanding of social interactions to better design um, environments to foster social interactions, to better design the classroom for inclusive children, particularly. I love the fact that physics is having these real world applications and everyday life improvements. I mean, uh, improving the way that children interact in a classroom is so important for their education, which then feeds later into some of them, hopefully, becoming scientists themselves. Yeah, that's true. Um, thank you so much for uh, spending thank the time chatting Thanks with me, me, and uh, I can't wait to find out more at the conference. Thank you. Thank you.